Hi there, this is Emily Rennie of Two Dog Designs and today I'm going to show you how I make one of my hand painted fabric bowls. Um, this is actually just going to be a little trinket bowl. Uh, what I usually do is I start off, uh, if I'm going to hand paint the fabric, I take several pieces of fabric and I simply paint them. As you can see here, there is no rhyme or reason. Um, I just kind of go with whatever color, whatever shapes, whatever designs I think of as I'm painting. Uh, I use all sorts of fabric in making my fabric bowls, um, anything from neckties to muslin to plain cotton to silk, polyester, pretty much anything you can think of short of knit or denim, uh, I can turn into a fabric bowl. Um, as you can see here, I'm just kind of going a little crazy and, and having some fun. Uh, what I'm going to do after I finish painting these and adding some more color to it is I will dry them and then I will get them ready for sewing. As you can see here, I'm just simply um, ironing out the dried pieces of fabric after the paint has had time to set. Um, and then after I've ironed them flat, that's just obviously to keep the wrinkles out, I'm just going to go ahead and cut uh, all the fabric into inch wide pieces. Um, these strips are what I'm going to use to actually wrap around the cord to start making my bowls. Here uh, is the beginning of the bowl. I take the cord and I wrap some of the fabric around. Um, you can see it's a little bit time consuming and a little bit hard to do. Uh, I utilize every aspect of my sewing machine so it's simply holding the fabric in place while I continue to wrap. You can sort of see the design that I painted on the fabric. Um, as you can see, you're not going to see the actual shapes and the actual designs that I, I did on the fabric themselves, but you'll kind of get a, a general idea that it's kind of an abstract uh, look, and you can see all the color in there. Um, please excuse the messiness of the house. We have been uh, sewing fabric masks for healthcare workers and individuals. Um, as you can see here, I'm starting the actual bowl itself. I uh, go into a coil with the bowl and as you can see I use a zigzag stitch and I kind of wrap and coil as I go. I got smart and learned a few years back to go ahead and pre-wrap all my fabric as much as I po or my cord as much as I possibly can. Here I'm actually getting ready to start building up the walls of my bowl. See how I tilt it right there? That's where I start building up the walls. This is where it gets loads of fun. I'm trying to concentrate on keeping it at an angle. And I keep on building the walls. And in just a minute, you're going to start seeing this is the end of it. This is, like I said, just a small trinket bowl. And I've come to the end of the bowl, so what I'm simply doing now is just wrapping around the edge, and I'm going to sew that shut. And there we go. And now I'm just going to top stitch around the edges just to keep it nice and clean. And at the end of this, you will have a small trinket bowl that's been hand painted. Perfect to hold earrings bracelets, your watch, uh, loose change, anything at, you know, anything like that at the, uh, on your bedside table or anywhere else. And there we go. A small little hand-painted trinket bowl, bowl by Emily Rennie of Two Dog Designs. Thank you.